Hey everybody, I'm BC and welcome to another episode of Nomads. How's everybody enjoying the series so far? Hope you're enjoying it. That's good because I'm actually enjoying seeing all these great builds that I've been coming across in the workshop and I, I gotta admit it's quite something to see like all the different things that people have built. I've got I got a few um, you know themes I'm trying to get lined up but you know trying to get enough for, for a full episode would be a little tricky, but I got a couple of a bit of a trifecta coming up for the, uh, the next couple of episodes, and the first one is going to be planes. And there's a few planes I've been checking out in the workshop, and we're going to go ahead and check them out. And the first one we're going to have a look at is Crass Aquaplan 2.0 by Skyman Skyman DT. Uh, build time is about four minutes. Uh, basically, it's a seaplane, a floating seaplane. Uh, he's got it set to. Uh, grounded mode so when you get out of, get out of the cockpit it actually drops down and floats on the on the water and there is the build cost uh looks a little on the pricey side but it's it's not a small plane but it flies pretty good and it's solar powered oh there's that lag <laughs> it's all good you know drop down it does drop down it should right itself and it'll actually float on the foundations. Uh, Skyman DT, if you're watching, maybe a little bit of a counterweight at the bottom. Let's uh, try to overcome the tail here. Uh, it's a problem with some of these things. Sometimes if you dip in the water, they tend to sink. Oh, let's see if I can get in here. There we go. I should have put this on the ground. But yes, as you can see, it is flying right now. And when you get out of the cockpit, it's supposed to... Uh, Drop down. Let me just test this first here. That's actually why I'm on this map here. Uh, I'm gonna blame the, uh, the the so called water we have. There you go. It is actually floating. So now let's go ahead and take it for a test. And we'll start out like a proper seaplane and get it right on the water. And look how they got the suspensions there. Uh, there's a water pump. I don't know if that's supposed to be like for a water bomber type thing or if it's supposed to be. Uh, not really solar powered because you got a deuterium generator in there. Hmm. Uh, we are creating a little bit of drag, but let's go ahead and take her up in the air. Does fly pretty good. It's really good speed. Let me get my zoom out a little more here. Get your zoom on. And there it is. Uh, Cross Aquaplan 2.0. Uh, really like this design. And how using the solar panels all over to not only give it some color and detail, but at the same time too make it efficient. Uh, I'd imagine there's a whole bunch of batteries in there. Oh, fully featured. Let's actually have a look at this. Oh, and there we go. It sinks in the water. That's my bad. My bad. Hang on. Let's try that again. I would edit, edit that out, but my failure is your enjoyment, right? Now what I might try to do is uh, just see where he's got the, the buoyancy set to. Oh, looks like he's got a max. Anyway, there we go. That is uh, the Cross Aqua Plan. Uh, just remember, if you when you do build it, make sure you place it in the water or on stable ground, or you will have... Uh, You'll have a submarine instead of a plane. And yes, I forgot to set my zoom out again. And there we go. So, Cross Aquaplan by Skyman DT. You can check it out in the Steam Workshop. There will be a link in the description for a direct download. And check it out for yourself. Next is the TU-134B by Vezalovsky Andre. Build time is four and a half minutes. Uh, it's basically a small commercial, a commercial airliner. It's a nice little job he did here. They did. I, uh, it's a lot of color and definition to it. There is the part count there. Uh, what you uh, build requirements, I should say. And there it is. And they do have landing gear. I don't know if they put the rotating plates on there or not, so I don't know if it'll actually roll or not. Uh, chances are it will not roll, but that's that's fine it's just aesthetics it's not like we have proper aerodynamics anyways well, let's take a first spin and i gotta remember to do that before i start recording yes as you can see a nice, nice little pattern on there 
Uh, there is no actual seats or anything like that, but I just noticed now they have the uh, the windows on a diamond shape. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, here we go. Let's take her up. Take her for a nice flight. And it actually sort of takes off like a plane too, where it sort of goes, no, goes nose up. Got the generators in the back as the, as the thrusters. But uh, yes, it is deuterium powered. Gets a, a fairly good speed. It's all small air blades, which is not bad. I don't know why it's going nose down. My bad flying, right? Oh, jeez. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, I did notice something uh, after I kind of rolled. I don't know how you roll a plane. It's me. You never. It's always possible. But the center of mass does seem to be a little high. I think that's what caused it. Uh, these air blades up here are probably what's stopping it from actually rolling right now. Uh, so if the author does watch this, if you can find a way to move some weight down, further down below the wings, or even move the wings up to about here, that should prevent the problem. But all in all, it's, a, it's a definitely a nice build, definitely uh, detailed and colorful, and that's what's great about this game. And then just a quick peek inside there, you got some air blades there, and you could probably throw some seats in here if you really want, put the little... Uh, external cockpit seat, you know, the sit down one. Uh, switches, I have no idea what they're for. I'm not about to find out. I've had enough disasters for this episode as it is. So that is, uh, what was, hang on, that was a TU-134B by Veselovsky Andre. You can check it out in the Steam Workshop. There'll be a direct download link in the description below to check it out for yourself. And don't forget to leave them a good comment. And finally, we have Stealth Jet 2 by Lord Shadow. Yes, I had a bit of a chat with Lord Shadow uh, after the, the last build, and they have redesigned it, made it more sleeker, more better looking, in my opinion, and definitely much more stable. Uh, six Gatling guns, eight missiles, uh, deuterium generator. Uh, there's the switches, black main power, blue engines, yellow exterior lights orange ion engines and white headlights uh, max speed 52 kilometers or 50 kilometers an hour there is the build cost and there it is the stealth jet 2 uh, he's been, they made the design a little bit bigger they lowered the center of mass to sort of work better with the air blades there's enough air blades on the top here to keep it somewhat sta actually fairly stable and it's really nice Really well put together. Uh, we got the uh, four missiles on this side, four missiles in the front. We got four Gatling guns in the front there, two and two on the wings. And if we swing around the back side here, you can see the thrusters, the engines. Really love that touch. Gives it gives it that life. And good job on the tail too. It's got that that edge that just cuts right through everything. And of course, it's a two seater. It's a Batmobile on wings. Let's go go for a nice fly and check it out. Uh, ascends and descends pretty good now. It's doing a lot better than it did with the previous design. And turns really nice. Well, it does sort of roll a little bit. Uh-oh. Am I going to be rolling every sh plane I fly today? I hope not. No, that's not the build. That's just me, apparently. I've been uh, hot dogging it in Star Citizen too much. And that's my problem. Uh, yeah, there you go. That is Stealth Jet 2 by Lord Shadow. Uh, you can check it out the Steam Workshop. There'll be a direct download link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, don't forget to swing by. You can leave a big thumbs up and good comment on this one. And enjoy it for yourself. And there we have it. Three great creative plane designs. Just showing the endless possibilities that is the world of Planet Nomads. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to swing by the Steam Workshop uh, and the links down below to check the builds out for yourself. And if you can, uh, leave these these out creators a big thumbs up and a good comment for them. Anyways, get you guys in the next one. Later.